guys, Romy Supes here, back again, this time doing another news update video for you guys today. We are looking at the Evolution Samuel skin that is coming to the house Fold near you very, very soon. You can see here in the splash art, we have Samuel with a Xenotech haircut. <laughs> that is literally Xenotech's haircut, uh, even with the coloring and everything. And then we have like a black trench coat, and he's like shooting out some green neon magic of sorts infused with like a technology theme as well. Um, there we go. And then we have, if we scroll down, we have him in the in game. And I have to say, from the get go, this looks amazing, but playing it in game, because I was able to play it in PvE, it looks a thousand times better in game because you see the fluidity of the abilities when you cast them off and just having them actually show the animations. It looks so sick. Like, I want to main Samuel now after seeing the skin and playing it. Like, I don't care if I'm drafting into counters to Samuel, I'm going to pick Samuel just so I can play this skin. I don't care if I'm losing ELO. <laughs> Actually, I do. I probably won't play him as much as you think I will, but hopefully I'll be able to draft into him enough to where I can, you know, get my, my fair share of playtime with this skin. But there we go. So at the top left, you can see there he's casting off his ultimate. If you actually look down at the bottom right, that's actually when the ultimate goes off. So it has that 16-bit skull icon with like a, you know, a radiated pixelation type of effect. And then we have the top middle where it shows his basic attack. This one is where it really shows off that it's like technology infusion with who he is, with Samuel. Because you can see there it hits, it has this energy ball, and then it also has the ones and zeros around that ball. If you guys didn't know, that's binary, it's a computer language, that is why this skin is a technology infused type of skin, because it has binary, it has the gaming-esque type of theme at the bottom right, you know, everything that's involved around, or evolved around, like, technology, he kind of have that, he has that encompassing his theme itself. And then you have the top right where it shows his passive, it's like a green neon bolt followed with a black sharp bolt, looks really, really sleek. Then you have the bottom left where it shows the B ability, Drifting Dark, where it's actually pixelated. It looks like kind of like the Matrix infused with a bit of magic and inter intertwined with it. Um, it looks really, really good with, you know, that combined with like his other abilities. It just looks really, really sick. I don't know if the top one, top middle is actually the basic attack or if that's the Empowered A. I don't really think they show the Empowered A in this. Oh, no, they do. So you can kind of see at the bottom left, he's, he's actually casting the Empowered A in that actual image. It's just, it was hard to see for me for some reason. And then you have in the middle, of course, is the model itself. Uh, the splash art was kind of hard to tell because, you know, he has light casting off of his, you know, his hand where he's casting the magic and it's going onto his hair. So you see a bit of a hue of green. But in the actual model, it looks like he has more of a bluish, tealish type of hair color with a complimentary like purple like tone to it too uh looks really really good that that combination of colors is perfect for the skin too because you have like the neon green but you don't want to have neon green hair right you want to kind of have something that's a bit off but still kind of ties into it as, as far as being the same color palette and that that looks really cool and really nice and it really makes everything uniform it, it looks really really good uh, but there we go also, if you haven't noticed, uh, at the top middle, he does have the Vanglory logo on his his trench coat, which is actually a really cool touch. Like this, this skin should be like the showcasing that because they're doing something at E3, and this skin should be like what's showcased because it does it has a logo, it looks sick, it, it, it adheres to the gaming demographic, which is E3. I think that'd be really cool. Um, I don't know if they did or not, but anyways, so we have the skin changes as well listed here. So we don't miss anything. We have the new glowy, or uh, glowy, the new glowing green effects, which we can clearly see. We have the triangular energy backpack. So I kind of had a hard time looking for it. In game, it's completely easy to see. Imagine it's basically like Vox's tier three skin, where it has that ring behind him that kind of pulsates a light. It's the same thing on Samuel, but it's a triangular shape and it pulsates a green neon green. So you can see that the top right, at the back of Samuel, you can kind of see it. It's hard to see, but it's there. You can also kind of see it at the top middle too. It's kind of like, you know, above his shoulder uh, to the back and below of his head. Uh, but there you go. That is that triangular energy backpack it's talking about. You have a digitized attacks. You have the pixelated drifting dark. Oblivion ability creates a computer sleep button on the ground followed by a rising green pixel skull. So 
Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so top left is a power button. That's cool. I didn't really take a. Uh, I didn't really see that. And then of course I did see the skull, which is pretty obvious. Uh, half shaved head and brows. It shouldn't even say that. It should just be Xenotech haircut. <laughs> Green to purple. I don't know. I don't even use this word. Uh, balayage hair color. Black leather, silver trimmed trench coat with binary design of Vangler logo, which we already saw, kind of commented on. Battery ammo pack canisters, which I didn't really see. Is that his wand, maybe? Oh, no, on his chest. Okay, I see. And then we have carbon fiber cyborg arm prosthetics with gold joints and screws. Um, and then we have taser jets, jete wands. Iron toed boots. All right, sweet. Um, so be the machine. They say the world is coming to an end. Excuse me, sorry. It's story time, guys. Shh. <laughs> I just kind of went into it. It's story time. Be quiet. Be the machine. They say the world is coming to an end, but they are wrong. When we're all gone, the world will be fine. Society is a mistake that nature corrects again and again and again. You want to escape the fate of society? Transcend it. Leave it behind. Be the machine. So basically, you know, Samuel's leaving his, his, you know, human form in some fashion behind the society he was built around, or not built, born around, uh, and now he is infusing himself to be the epitome of the evolution of humankind, which is, you know, infusing technology with flesh, which is what we have here. Uh, he has like the cyborg arm. He's still human. He's still human in some fashion. But he has, you know, the cyborg arm and he's casting off not just magic, but also like a technologi technologically themed magic. Um, so it kind of infuses the two into one singular theme. And it's really cool. I, you know, I've always liked these type of skins because they kind of have that too in like League of Legends. You have a lot of the... Um, the, the gaming theme type of skins, and those are kind of the same thing as this, of, of this, of like German, of this, of this. <laughs> but yeah, so, there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Later.